this is a very interesting story, people. According to Andre Ward's manager, James Prince, and his legal advisor, Josh Dobbin, John David Jackson, the trainer of Sergei Kovalev, unless he's no longer his trainer, I'm not sure, but the trainer of Sergei Kovalev, John David Jackson, has approached them behind the scenes with a view to jump in ship, leaving Team Kovalev and joining Team Ward. This is what James Prince and Josh Dobbin have been saying. I'm going to quote Josh Dobbin first and foremost. He says, It wasn't out of the blue as so much as we speak from time to time because he trains Brian Jennings. As it relates to this subject, it was certainly out of the blue. He had previously told me about issues that he was having with them. I don't think that was a big secret. Then he came out and straight up said that he wanted to join our team. And in fact, he named his price. There were several phone calls. We weighed it out and strongly considered it. This was something that was discussed over several weeks. It was something that we weighed out, something that we weighed out. But people don't call to leave their team because they feel appreciated and things are going good. They call to leave because things are not going good. I think John knows us well enough to know that when you're with us, we treat you right and we respect the skills that you bring in. Those were the words of, as I say, Josh Dobbin, who is the legal advisor of Andre Ward. I'm now going to quote James Prince, who is his manager. James Prince says, The thing is, Kovalev don't really listen to his man in the corner. The fact of the matter is, Jackson would love to be in the corner with the Americans. He wants to be where he's respected. We would show him more respect in our camp. The paint is on the wall. You see the same things that we see. Kovalev is a Russian that wants to be surrounded by his Russian people. Jackson can't even talk in the corner. Imagine being a man who is training you and giving you all this direction. And then when the TV screen comes on, they want to insinuate like somebody else is in charge and gets the credit. So I sympathize with Jackson Jackson and his negotiations and his decision on why he wanted to jump camp to be in a stronger position with the Americans. We didn't want Jackson to cause Virgil and Andre and the rest of the team not getting credit in the rematch. We thought about it strongly. That's why we were conversing, sorry, conversating with him because we felt that he could be somewhat of an asset. But at the end of the day, it was an asset that we didn't really need. Let him stay over there with the Russians. The Americans, sorry, the American wanted to be in the American corner. Then the Russian reached over and grabbed more Russians to be in his corner. At the end of the day, you'll see who is doing the talking. Although they may call the man a a conditioner or all of these different labels that they are giving him, they will keep Jackson looking as good as they want him to look because they don't want to show that bias to the public. That dude is showing Jackson who he is. Character is what you show when nobody is looking, when the TV is off, when the camera is not rolling. He's showing Jackson who he really is. And I don't think Jackson likes it at all from what I'm told. So those are the words of James Prince. You'll have to forgive me for stuttering a little bit there, people. I'm very tired. <laughs> Been a long day so far. So yeah, interesting story. Jackson unhappy with Team Kovalev reaching out to Team Ward to train jump ship. Could this be a ploy by Team Kovalev? Could Jackson be a double agent? These kind of things do actually happen in boxing, or at least people claim they happen. I remember when Lennox Lewis lost to Oliver McCall. In the following days and weeks, when his then-trainer Pepe Correa was fired, Correa came out and claimed, you know, an incredible claim, really. And correct me if I'm wrong here, but I believe this did happen. I'm trying to pull this out from the the dusty recesses of my mind. So correct me if I'm wrong, I might I might be off here, but I, I seem to remember that Pepe Correa claimed that he actually masterminded the downfall of Lennox Lewis, that he was some type of double agent all along 
who was sent in there to sabotage Lewis's career. And he took credit for it. Again, I could be wrong, but I seem to vaguely remember something like that happening with Pepe Carrera and Lennox Lewis. So, and I'm sure there are other instances of things like this happening. Could this be what John David Jackson is doing? Or could it be genuine um, disharmony behind the scenes between Jackson and Sergei Kovalev? I'm, you know, leaning towards the idea that this is a genuine approach by John David Jackson, that he's really not happy with Team Kovalev and he does actually want to leave. And what James Prince said there about this guy, this new guy who's going to be in Sergei Kovalev's corner, this Russian conditioning coach, he's saying that he's essentially not really a conditioning coach, that he's actually replacing Jackson and Jackson is being pushed to the side. They've just given him the official title as a conditioning coach, but really he's the main trainer. And Jackson won't be doing the talking in the corner. I guess we'll see on fight night and find out what it is. I always found John David Jackson's relationship with Kovalev an interesting one. I always felt like there was tension there. Abel Sanchez has said on many occasions that Kovalev is a very difficult fighter to train that he doesn't really listen to anybody. That's why Abel Sanchez, you know, there's two sides to every story here, but that's why Abel Sanchez says he parted ways with Sergei Kovalev because Kovalev don't listen. He's very headstrong and he does his own thing. He believes he knows more than a lot of the coaches he's worked with. So let me know your take on this particular story, people. And if you've got any information about John David Jackson and whether he's still with Team Kovalev, then please drop it in the comment section below. I did watch... A Boxing Beats of Rhymes video, which he uploaded today, in which he said that Dante's Boxing Nation is claiming that John David Jackson is no longer with Team Kovalev. I haven't seen that video for myself and I don't know what Dante's Boxing Nation's source for that information is. Maybe he's got a solid source, I don't know. But if you've got any information on it, please drop it in the comment section below. What's going on here? Will this make any difference? to the Ward Kovalev rematch in terms of the outcome. Is it going to be better for Sergey Kovalev to move away from John David Jackson? Maybe you don't rate John David Jackson as a coach. Let me know what you think in the comment section, people. It's Hatman, I'm out.